The two former prime ministers have recently released public statements calling on Prime Minister Peter O'Neill to step aside from office. Both claim that the integrity of the office of prime minister has been undermined by O'Neill's actions in relation to criminal charges against him relating to a warrant of arrest and the investigation into the Paul Paraka legal bill's payment. Semekere, in the statement, said O'Neill should end himself into police and explain what he knows about the Paraka case and his involvement. He said O'Neill's action has cast a shadow over the office of the Prime Minister and has damaged the country's reputation internationally. A separate statement released by Sam Michael Somare called on all elected MPs not to remain silent and allow the office of the Prime Minister to be manipulated. Sam Michael called on the PM to respect his office and surrender to police. But Prime Minister O'Neill today replied in a statement describing the comments by the two former Prime Ministers as first-class hypocrisy. O'Neill says Sam McCary and Sam Michael's statements were self-serving and simply unnecessary. He says the matters are before the courts and both have to respect that no person is guilty until proven in courts based on compelling evidence. He repeated a statement he made in Parliament when responding to opposition leader Don Polia on the same issue. I have always stated this and I state this again very clearly. If there is one evidence that I received one financial benefit, I will resign tomorrow. I will resign tomorrow. He denied claims that he benefited from the Paul Paraka saga, twisting the finger to Sam Michael and his son. O'Neill says the two need to explain why government money from a community college fund handed up in Somare's personal account in Singapore. Quinten Alom, National MTV News.